Hello. It's been a while since that business at Corvat, hasn't it? You're looking well. My compliments to your CMO. As you can see, I've been recently recommissioned. I'm doing what I can to get things in order here after that business with the Zenkethi and the Herc. We're still treating casualties, and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. A lot more. The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on the station, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the Herc dilemma, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will Bajor. Something on your mind? Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in this place. I can't believe Quark still has that hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest. I wish we were all here under better circumstances. Then again, DS9's always been a trouble magnet. <laughs> I guess peace is a little too much to ask for around here. My husband is risking a lot of capital, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately, he's the best Grand Nagus to come around in a long time. The best ever, as far as I'm concerned, but <laughs> I'm pretty biased on that point. Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around. Think about all the civilians, the refugees, people who are depending on you to protect them. Think about the best way you can do that if you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Was there something else? Yeah, in that alternate universe where good people are evil and vice versa, turns out the evil version of me is an admiral there. Real piece of work. Wears lots of leather, carries a whip. Oh, and she's in command of the evil Enterprise. I found out about her from my husband's information-gathering specialists. Never hurts to be well informed, right? Rule of acquisition number seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Was there something else? So, they dragged you into this too, huh? Can't say I'm too surprised. You've come a long way since your scrap with the Klingons as a cadet. I'm here because my fool of a brother, the Nagus, seems hell-bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. Not a lot of profit in fighting the Herc, 34th rule or not. You can't spend your money when you're dead. If you ask me, We'd be better off sealing that wormhole than saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. I'd miss the Tulaberry wine, but I'd get over it. But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira's still breathing, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. If it weren't for the Grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. Couldn't pass that up. It'll cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. Even with Odo here, and a billion Herc trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. Might finally land that exclusive Tula Berry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Can I get you something? There's a number of refugee groups here on the promenade. We're lucky to be alive, friend. 
There was little warning before the Herc attacked our homeworld. We sent a call to the Founders, but no Jem'Hadar ships came. Our local defense force didn't last long. A few of us managed to get away on ships before the Herc closed in. Word of the Bajorans and their faith reached us after the war ended. There's stories about one of their spiritual leaders. She came to the worst of us, on our prison moon, to bring the wisdom of the prophets. So, when the Herc came, we decided to come here, through the Celestial Temple, to seek deliverance. If the Founders won't listen to us, perhaps Kai Kira and the Prophets will. It must be a surprise seeing Karemans here on a Federation station. Let that sink in for a minute. It's so bad in the Dominion that its citizens are looking for safe haven with their former enemies. We were the lucky ones. We got out early. I've heard rumors about a blockade keeping the rest of us from leaving the homeworld. It might be true. I haven't seen any more Karemans arrive here for a while now. Oh, please. The Founders have forsaken us. Don't let the Alliance turn their backs on us, too. Quinn here. The summit will begin soon. I'd like to go over what you've learned. Interesting. The Klingon and Romulan positions were somewhat predictable. But I'm surprised by the resilience of the Cardassians and Ferengi. I'm also concerned about the Gamma refugee issue. We'll need to work with the Bajorans to manage the situation here. We should get to the conference room. Report to me there when you arrive. Well, everyone's here and no one started shooting. Could be worse. That was a joke. Take a moment to relax, speak with the others. Things will be serious soon enough. Jem Pak is more of a political creature than he was. Well, when we were both a lot younger. He's not willing to face the truth. There are Klingons who fear the Herc, hiding behind politics and rules. Grethar waits for their worthless souls. Know this. There are still Klingons who know where their blades belong. We will not dishonor our ancestors and ignore the Herc. We will fight them to our dying breath in the name of Kalos and the Empire! Greetings. It is agreeable to see you, especially outside the confines of Facility 4028. I'm glad we had a moment to talk before the summit begins. I trust you relayed everything you learned from us to your superiors. If I may be so bold, I hope that you conveyed a need for cooperation with the Founders as well. At least in matters regarding the Herc, if not in all things. Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision we discussed. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. I believe so, yes. The Kai has a condition that has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. I realize this is a lot to take in, but I hope I can count on your help when the time comes. I'm glad you're here. I've been feeling conflicted lately. All the worlds we saved from the Zenkethi were also home to thousands of dormant Herc. By saving those planets, we also saved a great number of enemies. Those very enemies have since attacked a number of worlds. 